Your spine has secret passageways to the subtle dimension of light. Attend to the area around your heart as vibrating luminous states. The ecstatic energy of that emptiness will carry you into the world beyond all thought. Sweep the arms all the way through to experience that space emanating through your whole being. Feel the offering of that sacred awareness into the spaciousness around you. As you roll the shoulders onto the back, lift up and out of the pelvis and feel the space behind the spine as infinity. Flow downward into space. Inhale, rise, and steadily consider back, root, heart, and know the living vastness that you are. Inhale, circulate the sensation of oneness as you lift your heart to the openness above and exhale, folding forward, deep bow to the earth beneath your feet as you inhale, lift, extend, exhale, release. Inhale, step back to your plank and continue the sacred union with the pulsation of life as you round in with the breath and exhale into the clarity of the danda, the plank drop down. Find your downward facing dog and experience your flowing spine as you inhale round from the belly towards the shoulders exhale melt the heart the inhale carries your leg to the sky the exhale pulls the knee to the chest like lift through the core paint the sky with your love as you exhale, step to lunge, expand, inhale, round in, draw upon the energy behind you and send rays of light from your heart straight ahead. Release the knee to the earth, inhale, let the arms open the sky. As they rise, exhale, release. Release your fears as you let the hands come to the earth. One last round, inhaling. Experience the infinite, the radiant light within the brow. Crawl your hands forward, sit bones to the sky and melt into the mother of the divine and forward to your elbows lift the thighs and find the core drawing in as the head bows a nice lift through the sideways as you exhale expand into a steady plank release the hips as you lift the heart Exhale, bowing. Trace the current of life from your toes up through the spine to the heart, the throat, the crown. As you bring the hands back, roll the shoulders on to the back. A few rounds, finding the liquid nature within your body as you rise into cobra 
and shift back, hips to heels. Carry the hips skyward, heels earthward. And then as the heels rise, rotate the hips side to side. Explore the side body opening and breathing now as the hips fall to the right. Sink the hips to the left as you draw. And back to neutral, inhale the left leg to the sky. Step softly forward. Your knee touches down as you reach back. Carry the light through the central channel as you arc back. Exhale, hands pour to the earth. Chest comes forward and inhale, rise again. Feel your movement with breath as you circulate this body vinyasa, the sacred cycle of life as you connect with the intimacy of love, of self, stepping back to Adho Mukha Swanasana. Feel the living energy floating through your body, the trembling, the quivering, and awakening as you step. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale back. Inhale, arms rising, palms together as you open your heart to the sky and follow. Shashun the nadi back to the heart. Begin again as you reach overhead and park back. Exhale down to the earth and hold as you inhale. Step back to plank. Feel the strength in your legs and the core as you coil up to rotate the heels to the right. Sweep the arm over Carry that to the left side. And again, swim the arm through a seed of lifts. Float side to side now as you experience the stability of your standing arm and the fluid nature of your movement. As you lower towards the earth in Chaturanga, let the stream of inner consciousness and light carry you into Bhujangasana and Sahaj of Spirit. Sahaja is that current that wants to live through you, blessing the inner space, awakening the inner serpent. As you exhale, bless the earth, drop down as you stretch the hands forward into pranam, the deepest bow. Rising into your upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, rise to standing, and meet the hands of the heart. Anahata chakra. Exhale the hands towards the earth, and then with the feet wide, left hand to the waist, sweep the right arm up and across the body. Explore this ocean of air as you breathe in like a sea for you to swim through, support you, caress hands to the base of the hips as you follow the riverbed of the spine into the ecstatic heart space forward fold and stepping back with the right foot into a lunge release the knee to the earth let your hands catch the left knee as you lift the navel off the thigh left hand to the waist as the right arm sweeps up and over and now right hand to the right hip as the left arm carries over to the side Continue in this motion, you can start to play with depth by reaching the supportive hand to the earth. And now as you catch the left hand to the base of the hip, sweep the right arm straight forward and up. And then 
and catch the base of your skull, the back of your head, and turn your right elbow to the sky. As you reach the arm forward, let the chest come towards the earth. Step the foot back. As you come to your knees, walk your hands out, six bones to the sky, soft spine, heart. As you come onto the elbow, step back to plank and feel the pulsation of life through your core, lower the hips. Take the hands wide, come on to the fingertips, lifting the center of the hand to support you now as you float up through the spine, shoulders on to the back. You can exhale back into your downward facing dog and let the heels begin to shift side to side bending on me and opening. Step the right foot forward. Release the knee. Again, finding that vertical alignment in the pelvis as you explore the side opening of Pradaya. Namaskar. Namaskar to honor the soul of the heart. As you catch the back of the hip, sweep the left arm up and over, arcing back, support the head. Release, come forward through your connecting vinyasa. Over, downward facing dog. Inhale, the heels rise. As the heels rise, the heart moves back. Let the hips descend and hop lightly forward. Feet between the hands, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, deep back. Inhale, sweep the arms together to the sky and then back to the heart. Sitting down now on your heels, chair pose, Utkata. Find the arms floating to the sky and then back past the hips and use that energy to lift the belly into the body as you come forward. And then release into Uttanasana, deep bow, catch the hands behind you. Feel the tips of the shoulder blades coming in as the arms drape overhead. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, step to plank. Chaturanga, inhale, from the toes to the heart, to the throat, to the brow, rise to cobra, down dog, right leg to the sky, step to lunge, inhale, crescent lunge as your arms rise, you can go a little deeper by threading the hands behind the back, and then drawing in from the back heel and the front Knee, pulling up through the inner thighs and into the heart, feel the surge of ecstasy and light rising in to your being. And move through your vinyasa as you step back and lower and rise to your chart, your bhujangasana. Moving to the left side, big rising some steps forward to the left. Catching the hands behind you. Reaching down the heel as you inhale, pull in and up with the thighs and feel the buoyancy of your spirit. The breath massaging the inner space, caressing the spirit. Find the power in the thighs as you rest on top of the feet and coil up towards down dog without rolling over the toes. Allow a wave to move through the body before you transition back. Now rolling over the toes into your downward facing dog and find the pulsation in the spine. Sink the hips, pop softly forward, feet between the hands. Take a deep bow and massage down the back of the leg. Touch the base of the hips as you firm the thighs back, root your heels and rise into the heart. And then 
claws at your center before you catch the side waves. Reaching up and over with the right hand and pressing the left hand past the navel. Right and left. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, deep bow. Step hop back. Move through your heel. Inhale, right leg rises and pours to the left. Step to lunge. Left arm sweeps straight across and over the head as you rise to warrior two. Touch the back weights now as you stream across the sky with your right hand. Squeezing in and up through the thighs, bring your right elbow to the right knee as the left arm reaches long. Continue here breathing, explore variations of support within your torso this time, catching the sideways. And now the third round as you explore near lumba, press the hand through the navel as you drift and dance with the wind of the body, the wind of prana. As you reach back, the right leg now carries to the sky and rolls open again. Roll forward to plank and down to your chaturanga. Inhale. Standing on the arms, floating into the chest, back to down dog, left leg now, rising and opening as you step to lunge, back heel descends. Sweep the right arm across. You're wielding the sword of discernment as you rise to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, elbow two, knee now, right arm extending, opening up the channel. Back side of the body, inhale, catch the sideways, left arm reaching back. But again, Utita Karsh with the Allison supported. One more round in this dancing warrior side opening variation of Prana Vinyasa. As you come to warrior two, feel the love, the light, the crown of the head before you. Release the hands to the earth and sweep that left leg to the sky, rolling it. As you inhale, float the right leg now to the sky and roll that right hip open. Feel the beautiful mobility of that hip. Step forward to your left. Rise again to warrior two. One round here as we explore near Lamba, unsupported dancing warrior side opening. Breathe with light. Feel the earth beneath you, supporting you. With your hands to the earth, take that right leg to the sky and roll it open. Now as you take it all the way open, sit down. Touch the earth with your right hand. As you flex your left foot, rise up into a beautiful Vashistasana side of opening variation. And come back to the earth. And reconfirm, reaffirm your connection. And as you rise back up and roll to plank, carry your right knee across to the left, extend the leg. And now we take another variation of Vashistasana. As that left hip rolls down, feel stability before you step that foot back. Lift the right leg to the sky and now pull your heart up and forward through the arms. Experience the scorpion-like quality. As you come towards plank, you can stack the knees or you can lower the left knee to the earth and then both knees before you move through your low cobra. Exhale, carry it back to down dog and let the left leg float up. Step to lunge. Back heel roots, right arm leads you into warrior two, vira two. We take one 
beautiful stroke across the sky with the arms, feeling the belly strong, the rising action with the inner life. Resting in warrior two before we come to downward facing dog, the earth rolling that left hip open now, reaching through the toes, draw the belly in as you rotate all the way over into the earth, sit, sit in your seat, flex your foot and keep that tailbone long, belly moving in and up as you drizzle the arm overhead. And back to the earth, feel that standing arm enhancing the noble quality of your being. Now extend that left leg across the body and out to the side, standing on the left arm as the right arm reaches straight up. Extract the leg, lift the leg to the sky, reaching the toes towards your crown, lifting the heart and lowering to the earth as you rise into your cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Lower to the knees. Let the hands rise up the hip. Catch the back of the hip. Draw the belly in and up. Squeeze the ribs down and in. Find your base of support. Begin to rise up through the sideways, up through the lower back. Let the base of your heart lift as though there was a hand behind your heart, resting the altar of your heart upon that mantle of the shoulder blades. You can explore now, holding the base of the hips as you sweep one arm at a time, straight up and over two times and then maybe catching the base of the head and support the weight of your head finding length up through the back of the neck and the crown and now find fluidity in the arm as you sweep the arm across and overhead while opening the shoulder circumduction of love you can feel the inner awakening the oja, the fluid body, the supportive body, the element of jala, water, nourishing your spine. As you shift back into downward facing dog, inhale the right leg to the sky and knee to the chin. Inhale, shift back, extending up through the leg and the toes. Exhale, knee to the left shoulder. Inhale, leg to the sky. There's a rhythm here. As you exhale, knee to the outside of the right shoulder, leg to the sky. Exhale to lunge. Back knee to the earth. As you sweep the arms in the cross position, Buddha, arms, the eagle arms, float back, squeezing it in and up with the thighs in from the periphery of the body to the midline and trace the midline up through the fingertips. Three breaths here, finding the pulsation of movement to explore the natural creative intelligence of your body to find and know true alignment and as you shift now to a straddle shifting to the left begin to paint the earth with all of your tenderness your devotion and drink your gifts to side in communion with spirit and you come all the way over the left leg release the knee to the earth and now cross right arm over left hooking the hands squeezing the elbows the legs to rise up through the spine and explore the secret nature the passageway 
of the spine into the sacred heart. The essence of being hands to the earth. Spin the left foot open, come onto the outer edge of the right foot now, and as the hips rise, inhale, carry the arm overhead into a side lunge, side plank variation, three breath, three pulsation, and now follow the flow around the left leg over to the right leg, now facing the other side of the mat, rotate your right foot open. Let your arm drift across the sky as you find the outside of your left foot nice and sharp to its bright. And now moving through the body vinyasa for three rounds, finding fluidity and strength, stira and sukha, ease and structure. And now coming into a standing on the left arm, squaring the hips, Inhale the right arm to the sky, left waist to the inner thigh. As you exhale, turn the right arm back under the right leg and coil it. We take three rounds. Now root the back heel as you straighten the right leg and rotate the left arm to the sky. Trikonasana. And take three body vinyasas here as the arm explores sky and earth, touching the outer ribs to bring the right waist towards the navel, right arm to the earth, left arm to the sky. Find the strength of the danda, the core, to rise up, reach back. And now as your right hand comes to your shin, your left arm reaches overhead, pull the belly and tailbone long, lift the right side of the body, match the arms and breathe. Release, sweep back. And now into Uttita Parshva Kanasana with right hand to the inside of the right leg, coming to the earth. And now as you reach straight forward and back, your chest turns towards the earth, the hips press back and away, and then as you sweep the arm overhead, you find that beautiful alignment. Inhale, rise to where you're two, exhale, let the hands come to the earth, walk all the way over the left leg, standing on the right arm, sweep the left arm to the sky, and now prepare to square your chest to the earth as the arm runs and finds its way under the outside of the left side. Coiling in and out three rounds. This beautiful, simple twist in lunge. Hand to the earth. And now as that left leg straightens, left hand to the outside of the foot, the right arm rises. Trikonasana. The body vinyasa here, twisting the arm towards the earth, catching the outer chest and then rotating the chest to the light onto the sky. You feel the sacred geometry, the alignment of your being with divine intelligence. Now prepare to electrify the subtle energy of Tejas as you reach to the side, self-supported left hand and right hand extending together in space. Release now as you rise. And moving into your lunge, reaching for the earth. Utita Parshva Kanasana, extended side angle pose with body vinyasa, exploring alignment, mobility, and strength. Press your heel to ball of that left foot to find your back heel so that you can rise with ease. And now shifting the goddess pose, toes open, arms wide. As you exhale, let the arms cross. Now catch the inner knees as you bow and extend the spine. And breathing into the hips and exploring the buoyancy of the bandha at your root to support. Inhale, rise up. Sweep the arms wide. 
catch the hands behind you as you turn the toes in, keeping the heels wide and floating forward, arms reaching for the earth. Keep the shoulders rising, the spine long. Within yourself, coming to center, lightly drawing the knees together and pulling back. Child's pose. The last. Come to your seat and then rise towards Ustrasana, standing on the knees. You can either tuck the toes and have the heels high or point the toes, it's your choice. Keep the tailbone dropping towards the earth, the lower belly drawing in and up to support the expanse of heart. Touching the base of the hips, connect with Atma Hridaya, the sacred soul center of the heart, and sit back. As you sit back on your seat, catch the lower belly with one hand, the heart with the other, and breathe. Breathe light. Breathe love. You inhale. Expand the hands as you exhale. And back to that lotus of the heart. Feel the lotus and lighten. And soft, we draw back into the mystery before you open again, inhaling the arms of your head. Exhale, dip the fingers towards the lower belly and then turn them and rise like new life into expansion and being. And as you gather the fullness, Draw back into your center, prepare to dive back into that 
dissolution before the return of life, the redemption, the renewal of expansion and openness, and then explore the space of a posh around all of the senses as you sweep the arms to the sky and drop it into a reverent hole, open to receptivity, and come to your table as you step back, strong thighs opening the back of the knees as you press through the heel and begin to move into this core pulsation, pubic bone and lower ribs come together as you rise through the side waist. You can begin to draw a knee into the chest one at a time. Feel that strength, containment, and standing of the arms. And shifting back into downward facing dog. With the left heel, inhale the right leg the sky, roll the hip open. Carry that hip all the way open until you step behind you, release the right arm into the sky. And as you press up through the heart, you can stay here or you can explore reaching back to the earth and moving into full Urdhva Dhanurasana bow pose. And then back your downward facing dog, and massaging the knots of the heart of Vishnu Ramki as you pour the left hip open and leg behind you coming into side plank, a variation, strong base, fluid spine, tailbone reaching to the heel, and maybe explore dropping open to full upward facing bow and back to neutral. Massage the spine and begin to shift into downward facing dogs before we continue to our seat. As you roll down, articulate the spine onto the earth. Begin to lift your legs. Walk your hips up and over the shoulders. As you support the lower back, let the left leg rise vertically. Poise as the right leg lifts and the left leg scissors to the earth. Inhale both legs to the sky now. Salamba Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Walking the hands down the back as you broaden the collarbones and anchor the shoulders down away from the ears. With the legs pour overhead into halasana, plow pose. Thread the fingers behind the back, extend the arms, support the broadness of the chest. And as you bend the knees, squeeze them around your ears and reach over your ankles to catch your wrists. Slowly lower down. As you come onto your back, prepare for Matsyasana, fish pose. Bringing the thumbs to the outer hips, squeezing the elbows together as you lift the back of the heart and rest on the crown of the head. Open throat, chest space and then release and squeeze in and allow yourself to drop in to the final resting place. Adorable one, when by oneself flooded with delight, simply in the memory of that kiss, enter the supreme joy through the open door of meditation and know it as your own. This ocean of bliss is you. There is a knower who experiences all. There is a presence dancing everywhere. There is a lover who embraces us all. I am one 
with that light. I am one with that power. I am one with that love. Join Kristen McHarg this summer for a very special course, The Yogini Way to Attract Your Soulmate, where we will dive into the mysteries of feminine allure. This program is for women who are serious about lifelong love and finding their soulmate. If your heart desires wild, ecstatic love, plus inspired respect and commitment. Join me this summer to uncover your natural gift to call in the love of your life. We will focus on effortless magnetism and enlightened dating. You will learn how to dance with the forces of polarities and dynamic attraction. You will sanctify your vessel and magnify your radiance. Magnetize your soulmate now. Schedule a free 20-minute consultation by emailing info at kristinmcharg.com. The first five people to register for this course receive 10% off. Namaste. Bless your sacred heart.